say that my reputation is someone who's really good at getting things done. Um, everyone always tells me I'm very enthusiastic, and that's, that's pretty accurate, I would say. And very creative. I'm always coming up with new ideas and new ways to try them and implement them. Well, it seems um, it's coming out a little bit that I am doing not as well known on campus, perhaps, as would be ideal. So just meet more people, but that's a pretty easy thing to fix. One thing that was a pretty big deal for me is um, this last summer I went to Israel. And a part of going to Israel was um, I was encouraged by my professor to apply for this fellowship from the American Schools of Oriental Research. They're a fairly prestigious archaeology institution, probably the biggest one in terms of biblical archaeology. And um, they only picked 10 students all over the world. And um, they've never picked a student from Southern before. Actually, this was the first year they'd even picked someone from an Adventist school. And I was chosen to win that. So that was a pretty big deal for me. Thinking back to when I was a kid, and I guess I was about 11, and I'd always wanted a dog. And I was so excited when I finally got one. She was mine. She was a gray and white Siberian Husky. Um, and I named her Kiska after the city in Alaska for some reason. And um, I really, really cared about the dog. I really loved the dog. But I didn't put time into the dog. I didn't spend the time with the dog. And um, because of that, uh, my parents decided I couldn't keep her, and they found another home for her, and um, I was really destroyed by that, but it was the best thing for the dog, and it ended up being the best thing for me, because I really learned a lot from that, and I really learned that it's, as much as it is about having an idea and hoping for something, it's so much more about making that happen. It's so much more about doing, rather than just saying. I would say ignorance. Honestly, I feel like we have so much information available to us and we have so much possibility and we just don't do it. And um, I think that's a real problem. So I don't do well when people don't know what they're talking about just because they haven't put any effort into it because it's fairly easy usually. So I'd say probably ignorance. I would hope I already have that. Um, I've spent two years devoted to student association. Um, I've been a senator for a full two years. You'll hear some people talk about being a senator, it wasn't for very long. And last year I ran elections. So um, kind of a natural step now was to go into potentially running for president. And um, so between that, between the fact that I'm a Southern Scholar, I'm a triple major, I'm a women in ministry president, and I've been able to handle all that so far, I think that I, think that I have that. And I'd like to build on that. And I think that comes from, once again, doing. I don't mean to sound redundant, but I think action is what we have to be at. Okay, well, I'm running off of basically my slogan is expect more. I don't know if you've heard it. But um, really, I think the platform has to be Christ. It has to be spirituality. Um, we're at Southern for a reason. If we didn't care, we would be somewhere else, basically. So I think my top three priorities after that, definitely one of them has to be to change the image of SA. It needs more enthusiasm. It needs more organization. And it needs more accountability. So um, I think changing SA now... After that, I actually have a lot of different ideas. I, I don't know, I've seen I have about 15 going around. And um, I really think it's important to find out what the students are interested in because this isn't about me, it's about everyone. So whether they're interested in focusing on the parking situation or environmental sustain sustainability or um, getting more hours in the library, whatever it is, it's really whatever one wants.